Hey everybody, I'm Mike. That's Mike. And I'm Mike. And that uh that's our mystery guest. I mean, <laughs> by now you've read the comments, you probably know who he is, but we're gonna pretend you don't. We're gonna pretend <laughs> All right, this is read... silly. I, yeah, this I is can't great. breathe. Hi, Greg. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Everyone, this is Greg Daria. I, I'm gonna give a quick intro about who you are. Um, where you just gotta sit there and look pretty and not interrupt me unless I get something horribly wrong. <laughs> So Greg's an editor friend, and he uh, taught, he works on big movies. Like you've worked, how many Fast and Furious movies have you been an editor on? Uh, as an editor, I've done two. I assisted on four others. Okay, so you've assisted on four. You've been one of the editors on two. You worked on. You were one of the editors on uh, Star Trek Beyond. Yep. Justin Lin and you've also done, which is what I think is really cool, a bunch of indie films with Craig Zoller right, as writer director. So he did Bone Tomahawk and. If you've seen that movie, you cannot forget that one scene. Uh, we all know what I'm talking about. If you've seen it, if you no spoilers, it. I haven't seen it. And you just did uh, Dragged Across Concrete, so you're doing these big movies and these Cindy films, which I think is really, really cool. And you know, it's it's a great position to be in. And welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So you're here because somehow, you know, I've known you for a while and I've been talking to you about my conversion from an avid editor to Final Cut. And that's thanks to this, you know, guy here with the, I, I'm calling it the Walter Murch beard right now because it kind of looks like the Walter Murch beard at the moment. Over the years, you've heard me talk about Final Cut. And for the record, you came to me with this, that a friend of yours was making an indie film and you wanted to try cutting it on Final Cut for a variety of reasons, which kind of, I'm thrilled I somehow talked you into that. I, I don't know if it's gonna go well or not. You have not started yet. You have never used it, um, but we, we're gonna do an experiment. We're gonna have, uh, have you talk about using this. And for me, the goal is when we're done, when you're finished with the film, we're gonna revisit this and talk about what the experience was like and what you thought. So. The cool part is putting this out before you've done it, because if you hate it, you hate it. You know, there, there's that possibility. Um, and, and we're going to put a, a response out no matter what, when it's, it's going to be a few months at least. Yeah, you know, Greg, uh, when I, the reason Mike is here being a, a, a proselytizer is I invited him to participate in an ACE event mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and spend 30 days like monkeying around with it and then talk about it with other you know pros and uh he said what what if i don't like it and i said well just be honest but don't be a jerk yeah. um and so you know we will we'll will ask the same of you mm -hmm. uh but uh you see what's happened to him over the years so so mike m i can't promise that i won't be a jerk <laughs> it's all relative it's all relative. <laughs> we'll, we'll, whatever you put out we'll put out <laughs> but you agreed to this before watching any other videos and you haven't, you ordered the new Mac, you've got a new laptop coming in a few days. Correct. But since talking about it, you've now watched some of our videos. So you have an idea of what's in store. Correct. Any what, first impressions, what do you think? I'm very much a hands-on learner. And, and so in watching those videos, um, it's tough for me to, to really absorb because again, um, without actually hands-on, um, I, you know, I just don't know. I mean, I know I'm excited. There, there, in fact, you and I talked over the phone the other day that that concept, and again, I, I, I'm probably gonna get the nomenclature wrong, so forgive me. Everyone does. I get it wrong all the time, it's fine. Okay, okay good. Mike M, what are you drinking? Are you drinking a beer? No, it's um, apple cider vinegar and stevia and ice and water. Oh, okay. Less I, I was be, or Scott. Or Scott. <laughs> I was going to be envious. Um, that, that concept um, that all the tracks of a particular, all, all the audio tracks of a particular take are embedded and you don't have to do that mishigash of having, you know, again, in Abbott, having a clip with just the mix track and then having to match back mm -hmm. to then listen to all of the individual tracks, the notion that that's all embedded, A, and B, that it's not taking up 
the real estate that it's it's pretty simple to to sort of go in and and listen to and and turn off and select that alone when i saw that i'm like oh my god that's fantastic so and i i think i got that basic concept down correct oh yeah 100 percent. i i so pete the viewers know i'm not an assistant i really don't know but i am assisting you in this and in fact i've already gotten the first two days of footage for this film and i've sunk the dailies up and they're ready and you have exactly that the mixed tracks are there every individual mic is labeled they did a good job in production so you will have all of that as requested mike m since we're calling you that now any questions any um well i'm just interested uh if greg is uh, is scared at all about uh dipping his toe into this uh publicly dipping his toe into this uh this new thing hell yeah good yeah you should be scared. Oh, oh for sure yeah what what's 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 scaring you the most other than learning something new it, it, it's that I, I i again i can't i can't emphasize enough i'm a baby and it's like uh, you know with avid you know i've been on the thing for for like 20 years or so yeah. so so the challenge for me um when i'm working with avid isn't how do i get this to do what i need to do the challenge is just okay here's this material how do i dive in and, and start to do something with it sure. i i'm i'm flying without a net it's i mean i did years ago i did do one project on final cut i think seven but again michael mike why or michael if i do mike m and michael right sure okay good Thanks for anything you had said that 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 uh 10 is there's no relation between 10 and seven so i'm I, I, you know i'm just being thrown in the pool it's sink or swim you are going to help i'm going to be holding you back and mess me up but master is going to fix all those issues so you are going to have some help you're not going in completely alone yes yeah well the single the single piece of advice i think for a professional who's attempting this and you know we're all of an age where we we know what we know and we like what we like and learning new things can be challenging but i think um the one piece of advice is and you were just kind of talking around this a minute ago is instead of thinking about how you did something in avid or wherever think about what you're trying to do when you're doing it um because more often than not how you accomplished something in avid will be different than how you're going to accomplish it in Final Cut, but you can accomplish pretty much the same thing and more in most cases. So I think just setting your brain to that setting will help you over uh, some frustrations. And and you guys sort of in the videos that I've watched already, you guys you guys make that point several times, and and so I get that. It's um, I, you know, think of it this way. Um, if, if you didn't know how to walk and now you're 55 years old, uh, you'd probably just say, screw it. I'm just going to keep crawling. I, I don't want to have to, to think about some new process. So it's just simply as an old geezer, it's like, oh, wait, after all these years, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do exactly what you're saying and I'm going to have to, you know, and that's just. It's a challenge. <laughs> oh, well, I, I was going to I was going to suggest to you the same thing I suggested to Yanovich, which was uh, take notes, write things down um, as you're going through. I mean, feel free to call anytime, but uh, you know, come up with the and write down your questions, and then we'll come back with with answers and and help to get you uh, where you need to be. So it's 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 three thirty in the morning, Mike M, and you get a phone call from me. You're gonna yeah, pick up. Yeah, my my phone will be on and ready and waiting. I'll, I'll even give you your own ringtone, Greg. It'll be very well, silent though. Anything immediate I had, I'd call him right away. But there were things that I wanted to workflow issues. I had a Word document open on the side, and I would just write, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? When I had it about a page, page and a half, Mike came over and we just went over it. Nice. Well, and again, one of the things I'm doing, um, 
my my intention is once I get the new laptop, I think uh, Michael, I think you said there's a tutorial uh, video yeah. that you guys have that I'm gonna dive into. But the other thing that that I, that I've been doing is I've been in watching the videos. You know, I've been taking notes with time codes on those videos for certain concepts. You know, and, and labeling them and saying go back and rewatch this. And so when I actually have Final Cut in front of me, that's also one of the things I'm going to do is just go back to those videos at those at those points in the video to to go over those. So hopefully I can minimize um, having to reach out to you guys. But I, but again, I really appreciate we're here and we're expecting calls. Especially. And I and I it, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it because I, I really do because I'm not I I'm not bold like you know. I, I just like to, I like my safe cocoon. So, you know. And you're taking this bold. And again, this was your idea. I wanted to, I did not talk you into this. You know, your idea. Can, can I, look, I will not curse, but like the, you say that so forcefully over and over again. <laughs> I feel like I'm being accused of something. No, I think it's great. I, I think it's great. <laughs> called it's uh, plausible, plausible deniability, Mr. Absolutely. President. I didn't go I knew right it. next time you do this film. I'm going to, you know, I don't have any blackmail material on you yet that I'm that I've told you I have. Um, I love that this was your idea. I think it's fantastic. Well, and again, you know, Les had reached out to me and not to ask me uh, to, to cut the film. He actually reached out to me uh, to ask if I knew anybody. And I said to him, I said, look. And this um, is a friend of yours that you've known a long time. Correct, yeah. He, he's the friend. He and his family are, are making this, this really uh, low budge indie movie. Um, and so I said to him, I said, look, you know, the time frame that you're talking about when you're going to shoot it, uh, I'm not going to be working. Um, so if you're willing to accept that, A, I'm not going to do it full time because I like my downtime, um, and B, I'm going to do it on Final Cut 10, but the downside is I've never worked with it, so um, I'm going to be slower, much slower than I normally am. And if, if you're willing to accept those downsides, um, you know, I'm happy to, you know, to do the film for you. And he, he was very happy and he said, sure. So, so it, it worked out. Look, the pressure is, you know, any project that we do, we're professionals, we want it to be the best it can be. So there is that pressure, but there isn't the pressure that, that, you know, it's a multi-million dollar project with a very hard, fast deadline. So there, there is, there is space for me to flounder. Um, so it, it, it became a, a great opportunity to, cause you've been talking about Final Cut 10 for a long time. And, and so it, it always intrigued me. So it, the stars aligned, I guess, to, to, you know, wade in and take a shot. And that's how I got into cool. it. When Mike approached me about the talking to the ACE editors, I was about to start a short film that I was doing with a friend, a director I'd worked with on some documentaries. And this was um, a free project that I was doing on the side. So there was no hard schedule. Like, okay, I'll learn it with this. And exact same scenario on, on a smaller scale. Yeah. But it was a good, you know, you can't screw that up. Exactly. You know, if you need some time, you need time. Yeah. And, and, and he, he understands that. So again, the only pressure right now is the self-imposed pressure. Mm -hmm. that's fine great well i wanted to keep this short <laughs> if anyone has last thoughts because we'll, we'll go more to depth maybe halfway through the editing or when you're finished with the editing and, yeah. and we'll, have right, well one, one thing I'll, i will i'll do greg is i'll shoot you over um a free downloadable copy of the book that i wrote after we did the one movie which has a bunch of sort of production stuff in it how to get over this hump and that hump and questions so we'll send that over to you just for reference if you ever need to check it out and um i think all that uh, that learning time where you're saying it's going to take a little extra time you probably pick that up at the back end because uh once you get going you get going much faster yeah uh, you know from your lips to uh the non-believing deity that that some people believe in. <laughs> we'll see you'll get there yeah i think i think it'll be a it'll be a learning curve for the first week week and a half and then you'll be very happy 
Cool. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. Cool. And, and, and again, for the record, uh, Michael, I cannot express how, how much I'm thankful that, that you're helping me on this project. Absolutely. And thank you for being on this, uh, on this video with us. You know, we're doing this for the, for the love of the product. We really enjoy working on it. We want to be able to work on it more. We're not making any money on this. And as you said, we don't really do tutorials. We're doing broad strokes, except for that one tutorial we have, which will be a good place for you to start. Yeah. And we'll see how it goes. Cool. We'll see you all back when the film is further along, however long that is. Bye, everybody. Thanks, see ya. <laughs>